I am going to be now taking you uh, uh, for an interaction with a startup in the uh, university. And uh, this startup is Cogni Element. And this is one company which is gunning to, I mean, his aspiration is to become a unicorn. That's the aspiration that he'll live, stay in and day out. So whenever I meet Samudra, there is only uh, one thing that Samudra has to say, and that's Ma'am Mirko, unicorn banana. So that's the aspiration with which is common. And when he joined uh, the incubation center a year and a half back, he had a team of roughly five, seven people. Today, he has a team of 50 people with him. And as you heard uh, Honorable Vice Chancellor speak uh, about uh, uh, the interface that we have with the mentors, uh, cross border from Silicon Valley, that is Karjay Marathi. He has uh, been one of the startups who got mentored by the set of people from Karjay Marathi as well. And there are two investors who are seriously speaking to him, uh, one from Dubai and the other one from Singapore to invest in his company. There is Samudra. So I'm into the, and he's sitting in the incubation center at the university. In fact, he has taken a space. Uh, we had provided a co-working space for two people, but Samudra has decided to take a huge hall for himself. So 50 people are sitting in the incubation center at Samudra Philippine University. So Samudra, uh, uh, can you just tell us what excited you to get into the startup ecosystem? Uh, the life had been really good while I was working with my previous experiences with the rocks and Iron Mountain. And suddenly uh, there were things which people, so there was a startup culture which initiated in 2011-12 where we can see Flipkart and a lot many companies coming up. And uh, the love for product was more importantly there. Uh, while interacting with lot of, lots of customers, we identified that you know there is a possibility where uh, there is time right now and you can explore opportunities. And I was part very much motivated with people over there and I had been always following Steve Jobs uh, since the start of my career and uh, how the Apple started from a garage, uh, how we ended up having Next and Pixar and later on being a part of Apple was the most important motivation of my life. And there, uh, the whole boom in the Indian ecosystem came and we all believed that, uh, you know, somewhere that start had to come. So it started with uh, that wave itself in 2013 now. So how did you start off? What was the beginning? So, uh, what did you do first? So uh, while I was working with Xerox as a solution architect for Asia Pacific, uh, my job role was to creating solutions. And it always started with uh, encountering a lot of problem areas. So while you work only in India, there are so many unsolved problems across businesses and people believe in delivering it by people, process or technology in a, as a combination. I started as a consulting role in the beginning to understand what I can do in the market uh, as a freelance consultant. Uh, to add to up, I uh, started working on a startup which did not materialize in, uh, the way Cogni Elements is right now. And from there, uh, you know, in first four years, it was more about practical learning, meeting a lot of people in the market, understanding what they need. And with the knowledge I have and my team have, we started building something for them as a product or a service or an offering. So what makes you feel that you are a material for startup? My passion. Uh, it starts with passion uh, because today uh, startup is a hashtag which every individual would love to do it. But it's, it's not that easy. It's not that tough. Uh, you need to be really serious about something. It's a brainchild. And uh, the way parents take care of their kids, it's all about the passion. Uh, you need to take care of your startup because it's your brainchild. You need to give it more than 100%. Uh, the commitment is beyond imagination. And you need to be patient enough. And I suppose uh, the never say die attitude comes when you believe in your idea. Because some or the other day it will click. Uh, all about the uh, you know, law of probability. Initially, you are in an ideation phase. You go, you try it out, you will fail. When you fail, you just get to know that if I go this way, I'll be failing. Then you try way number two, three, four, and way number N. And there will be one day with all your experience, you just click. Oh. So what have been your uh, real lows in the, in the startup side? 
Ma'am, uh, the first startup which I started was more of you know I had to start, uh, and that's that's where the journey started. Uh, it did not work out. Uh, when I say it did not work out, uh, we tried our hands in Indian uh, market. People say you spend thousand days in your startup, and if it clicks, it clicks. As uh, you need to relook into it. Uh, so we could not click that uh, thousand days period. Uh, it did not work out, and uh, the partners uh, separated. And during that time, uh, I again uh, got. So I come from a background where most of my parents and families are from the government services. And wow. while I was working with uh, Xerox, they had think that you should come back and work as a government employee. Uh, but some of the other way, I was not inclined to that thought. So that was one point of low where I had to sell off my car to start back Cogni Elements then, and to raise the funds to start with two team member. And today, with God's grace and with help from mentors like you and others, we are a recognizable factor in the real estate segment when it comes to prop tech. Wow. So it's just not about the passion that you have. It's just not about the perseverance that you have. It's just uh, above all these that you, I can see from your talk. But right. I, I believe that a company is all about the set of people who come together. Right. I think the biggest barrier for a startup is how do you attract the right kind of people to join you? And I understand that you are somebody who is not from a, IIT or I am, but your team comprises of people all from IIT. So how right. did you manage to get good people to join you in such a short span of time where you're saying that you sold up a car to set your company and two years, uh, I see a team of uh, more than 50% from IITs. How did you manage this? So, yeah, that's, that's a funny fact. Uh, so with hard work, the luck was also part of it, but most important is the vision. Uh, so when uh, you, so we, we go to our school days back. So you have a group of people. So the average, the, the smart guys, the sports one, and all of those. Every individual in that group carries a vision. Uh, when we started Cogni Elements uh, to get the first IITN, Akshay Kochikar, who is my co-founder, uh, we discussed on a three months period that, you know, let's try this. If it works out, let's take it forward. If it does not, then we can remain friends. And the idea was more about vision and passion. Uh, so the thing here is when we started with uh, just one idea, it was just an hypothesis that whether it is going to work or not. And we need to complement each other. So if somebody is very much strong and sound on the technology side, we the other ones should be sound enough on the sales. And we complemented each other. Like I was looking forward in the business development segment to get more businesses. And the problem statement Akshay was looking into solve it. And once you get one IIT and he would always pull the others. So it's just the magnetic effect. But your vision needs to be there. Uh, the growth has to be there. So we had quarter and quarter growth. We got some good uh, customers who got onboarded with us. Uh, they shared the problem statement and we were honest about solving them. And that actually helped us today. So today out of uh, six co-founders who are here, uh, four of them are from IIT Guwahati, which includes Akshay, Sachin, Lokesh, and Sukumar. We have Chayan who is from NIT Surat. And I'm the only non-IITian guy who's taking care of the sales and marketing. Sure, great, fantastic. And my last question to you, what is it that you aspire to be? Ma'am, as you mentioned, you started with like, yes, we aspire to become a unicorn. Uh, till now, we are being bootstrapped. But most importantly, we wanted to become a platform company. Uh, uh, so in India, when we see people ended up talking a lot about, you know, India is considered as a services uh, country where we are very good at offering services. And we have many giants in the global uh, space itself, TCS, Infosys, and many more. And then you have a culture where products were coming up into the market. And then we talk about platform. Uh, at India level, the number of platform companies are very less and limited. Uh, so the vision when we started in 2019, uh, today we are in the lines of where we are a platform company. Uh, we see in next couple of years uh, where we can create a lot of marketplace and jobs. So what we aspire to be one of a prominent, strong, fundamentally platform company which allows different uh, startup founders to use our platform to build their own products. And then there could be another downline of people who believe in servicing people and they can use those products to service the whole ecosystem and businesses. 
So that's what our aspiration as an organization right now. I know you have pivoted a lot uh, in terms of what you started with, the product that you had in the offering and the shifts and the changes that we saw in your offering and in your thought process as well with yep. the mentors who came in. So yep. this list of great mentors that you are associated with. Yeah. These mentors have made a lot of change in your thought process. True that, yeah. including the team, the mentors actually give you a real uh, analysis. In fact, they are the best critics. They will come and tell you upfront. And uh, you need to take those advices with pinch of salt and it works out for you. It's, it's really like you have to squeeze lime, which does not taste good immediately, but later on it becomes sweet. Uh, and, and that's how it works out. And we are very blessed to have good mentors over our journey, ma'am. Great. Fantastic. Thank you, Samudra, for you. spending time and speaking to the budding entrepreneurs here. And I'm hopeful and optimistic that from the team that I see here, I think there are 270 people of which I assume that there will be at least if not less to 30 of them who want to get into the startup ecosystem, rest maybe the mentors who have joined the uh, conversation today. And I look forward to them coming next year to speak to the next, next set of startups. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, ma'am. Uh, Pleasure.